Iron is used in many forms of transportation, such as railroads, roads, and bridges and cars. It is used in cities in the making of skyscrapers and other buildings. Iron is everywhere around us. It's in your kitchen and in your bathroom. Iron is the cheapest and most abundant of all metals. It is also found in our blood, and it is used in about 95% of the world's metal production. The most important uses of coal are in electricity generation, steel production, cement manufacturing, and liquid fuel. Different types of coal are used for different things. Coal is used in chemical and pharmaceutical uses such as creosote oil, naphthalene, phiol, and benzene. China, the United States, India, Russia, and Japan account for 76% of global coal use. The largest use of oil is in fuels such as gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. It is used in the making of asphalt, fertilizer, it is used to heat your house, it is a component when making plastics and electrical generation. Aspirin manufacturing begins with benzene, which is typically derived from petroleum. Women's stockings are also derived from petroleum. The Transcontinental Railroad is 1,907 miles long. It was built between 1863 and 1869. It connected the Pacific Coast at San Francisco with the Eastern Rail Network at Council Bluffs, Iowa. Construction on the Transcontinental Railroad was authorized by Pacific Railroad Acts of 1862. The Act financed it through loans and land bonds. Before the railroad, it costed $1,000 to cut across the U.S. after it only cost $150. During the building of the Transcontinental Railroad, there was many Native American attacks. Ranchackle settlements appeared along the railroad. This was known as the Wild West because of things such as hotbeds, gambling, and prostitution. The Industrial Revolution took place from the 18th century to the 19th century. Rural societies in America became more industrial and urban. Manufacturing was often done in people's homes. Industrialization marked a shift to machineries, factories, and mass production. It brought a variety of manufactured goods and an improved standard of living. Samuel F. B. Morse he was born on April 27, 1791, in Charlestown, Massachusetts. He died on April 2, 1872. He attended Yale College. He was an American painter who turned into an inventor. He was a co-developer of the Morse Code, and he also developed the telegraph. Henry Bessemer he was born on January 19, 1813. He was born in England. He died on March 15, 1898. He was an English engineer, inventor, and businessman. Bessemer's name is known in connection with the Bessemer process for the manufacturing of steel. Bessemer's invention was a series of six steam-powered machines for making bronze powder used in the manufacturing of gold paint. Alexander Graham Bell. He was born on March 3rd, 1847. He died on August 2nd, 1922. He invented the first telephone. Thomas Edison. He was born on February 11, 1847. He died on October 18, 1931. He developed many devices that greatly influ influence life around the world today. Those devices would include the motion picture camera, the phonograph, and of course the light bulb. He was one of the first inventors to apply the principles of mass production and large-scale teamwork to the process of inventing.